Greetings and salutations. Today I thought to respond to some media lies yet again coming from the Netherlands. And uh, before I begin to elaborate upon the statements themselves, the lies themselves, I would just like to say welcome to all uh, new subscribers. There are always a good few new subscribers coming in after one of these um, hit pieces. So uh, yeah, welcome. Feel free to look around at some of my videos. You can check out my Instagram as well. I have all of my opinions and views out in the open. So just look through all of my videos if you have the time, or at least look through some of them, the ones you find interesting. And then also have a look at my Instagram. I try to explain my worldview as best I can on both um, YouTube and Instagram. So um, yet again, Welcome to the channel. And now for all loyal legioners, I want to say that I recognize full well that the fifth or so response video to me responding to some beta leftist journalist, it isn't perhaps the most exciting anymore, but I'm doing this for uh, two reasons. First and foremost, it is so the new subscribers can get from their article, just search on my name and then the name of the newspaper comes up as well so they, they can get directly onto my channel. So it's basically me converting views that the legacy media has into views of my own and then converting them into the glorious pill and to my worldview. So um, yeah, tips pickle how to the legacy media who uh, writes about me, you're doing me a great favor. Uh, and especially since no one believes your lies anymore. So that is one reason. The other reason is that I want to, we are in a information war against uh, leftist media and uh, whenever they lie about me and I can prove that they are lying, they lose credibility and I gain credibility. So I need to respond even if it's yeah the 27th time I do one of these videos. Now, okay, it's not that many, but um, you know what I mean. But anyway, thanks for bearing with me. I do have more exciting content coming out. It's just that it's been crazily busy over here over the last, um, last while. But worry not, I do have some more um, glorious content in the pipeline. Now, on to the media lies themselves. Basically, it's the first thing I reacted. It's in Dutch, but I had a good friend translate it for me. And the first lie is that I have been preaching about the supremacy of the white race, which I have never done. I have never done this for the simple reason that you can't say that one race is supreme over another. If you have an African man trying to survive, evolutionary speaking, in a cold and uh, dark Scandinavia, he will probably not fare so well. If you have a ginger Scandinavian trying to survive in Sahara or the African jungles, he will probably not fare so well. So what I've been saying is that we have uniquely adapted ourselves to different environments. And what I've also said is that Europe belongs to Europe's native population, the Europeans, and I'm very much against the Great Replacement. That is what I've been saying all these years. I've never said who was superior. So that's a lie. The journalist here is therefore lying. Now, the second lie, which I thought was so hilarious, I didn't even know if I should respond to it. But that is that the self-improvement advice I give is to prepare for a race war that we want. I did not want the Great Replacement. I did not want to see the multicultural hell project being implemented upon Europe. This is not something I wanted. I'm saying to guys that they should go to the gym, they should train martial arts to protect themselves and their loved ones. Because they are the victims. And their loved ones, especially their uh, women, our women, are the victims. We need to train hard to defend them. So it's not some scenario that will happen in the future. It has ha already happened for many years and it happens now and it will continue to happen. So it's not some distant race war that anyone wishes for. It is a deteriorating society that we are living in at the moment. So it's not something in the future. It is right now. You should be jacked right now. You should stop watching porn right now because it's bad for you. And it's nothing to do with a race war. It's about everything. Self-improvement goes into exactly everything we do. So we can talk about demographics, for example. 
uh, these liberals they always say oh Europeans need to have more children if they don't we need to um, import a lot of people and then I say okay listen to me I can give you some good self-improvement advice so you can get a fair maiden and start a family so apparently that means I'm preparing for a race war uh, it doesn't make any sense at all uh, if I give diet advice, if I give advice on how to become happier and more content or finding friends or finding a girlfriend or whatever, that apparently means in, in the twisted reality of this beta leftist journalist that I'm preparing for a race war. I'm saying that we are already involved in this war. It's not a race war, but it's a, but it's a low intensity war between biocultures and civilizations. That is where we are. I did not wish for this. I'm just trying to make the best out of a bad situation and I'm trying to give the best advice to those who come to me to uh, gain good knowledge. So that's my response to uh, these particular media lies. Uh, they will probably keep coming but as I said I'm only happy to receive this, um, this type of attention because it's always the same. It's been the same for almost three years now that some one or some paper writes about me People search on my name, search the golden one on YouTube, find my stuff and says, oh, this isn't congruent with the version they tried to portray him as. This is a reasonable guy who wants the best for people. Um, so yeah, thank you again to uh, mainstream media. Keep writing. I will only get more subscribers. So thank you for watching XXO. Boom.